Horizon in downtown Egypt thousands of years ago. Pyramids? <laughs> yes. And who owned the pyramids? Pharaoh. Pharaohs. And who built those pyramids? Slaves. Slaves. Great. Facts tell, stories tell, sell, story. One morning, Freddie the Pharaoh wakes up, looks across the river and sees an empty spot, and he wants to build a pyramid. So he calls Sal, the slave owner. Sal, I need, you, I need your slaves to build, to build this pyramid. But actually, he doesn't call, I'm sorry, I gotta start again. Freddie <laughs> the Pharaoh wakes up in the morning, looks at this empty spot in the desert, and he wants to build a pyramid. But he doesn't build pyramids, he's a pharaoh. So he calls Peter the pyramid builder. Hey Peter, there's a contract. Build me a pyramid. Great, he's got a contract. But he doesn't build pyramids. He needs slaves. So he calls Sal the slave owner. Sal, what's in it for me? They cut a deal. Next morning, he whips the slaves into, into it and they start building the pyramid. So today, when you look into cities all over the world, what is the tallest thing you see on the horizon? Skyscraper? What specific kind of skyscraper? Needles? You don't have much time. It's a bank. Banks? And who owns the banks? The pharaohs. The pharaohs. <laughs> exactly. Instead of pharaohs, we have bankers. Instead of, real, instead of pyramid builders, we have real estate developers. Instead of slave owners, we have business owners, management, <laughs> Wall Street banksters. My project is financial literacy. My background is Islamic banking, Islamic finance. Muslims do not want to deal with interest. CED literacy is lacking across the population. I'm in the CED, SFU CED program. If you launch a financial product, a CED product without education, and it's not marketing, it's not PR, you have to just have genuine education without selling any product as the first step. Ethical finance for everyone. Thank you. Nice.